We don't always eat at fancy restaurants in Mexico, but when we do and they impress us, we're going to share the experience with you. So if you're looking for a special dining experience recommendation in Guadalajara, you should totally watch this short video. Okay friends, so this is a restaurant located in the trendy district known as Lafayette. Um, I particularly love this historic and stylish area of the city for its beautiful tree-lined streets and gorgeous French-style mansions dating back to the beginning of the 20th century. Um, here you can find a lot of boutique hotels as well as a ton of trendy cafes and restaurants serving Mexican and European cuisines. And one of these upscale restaurants is Bruna, the one we are reviewing today. Um, more than a restaurant, Bruna aims to be an enticing experience and I think they are successful at achieving that through everything from their contemporary spin on Mexican dishes and their mixology lab to their beautiful gardens and artful decor. Um, and speaking of art, they actually have exclusive art pieces displayed in their indoor dining spaces from renowned artists and groups. Uh, it's truly an immersive experience combining various sensory elements from taste to visuals and sounds. Because we arrived a little early on a weekday, we got to enjoy the place without distractions and truly appreciate the work that went into all the details that make this space special, as well as understand why it's on every romantic restaurant in Guadalajara foodie list. The servers were very professional, the food came out extremely fast and in the time that we waited we were uh, served complimentary appetizers, these delicious mini duck rolls. Um, what we ordered was the grilled octopus and the fish of the day which was a piece of sea bass cooked to absolute perfection. The sauce complemented the fish incredibly well and I particularly like the crispy skin. Um, as for the octopus, I don't think we ever had it with mushrooms, but it worked great in this combination and the uh, medium spicy salsa was delicious as well. Uh, these two dishes cost us around 700 pesos, and that's around 35 US dollars, so about $60 after tip. Um, and so that's the cost of lunch at a fancy restaurant in Mexico, uh, without alcohol, I should mention. And I'd say for tourists that come here uh, with dollars, euros, pounds, etc., I don't think this would be considered expensive. It might be, however, if you live and work in Mexico. But the good part is, and here we speak from experience, food in Mexico is delicious and fresh in literally 90% of cases. Um, so regardless of where you eat, chances are you won't be disappointed. Um, we showed that in the past and we will continue to show it in, in future videos, so tag along if you like Mexican food. That's all for today friends, I hope you enjoyed this short food video. Please consider subscribing to our channel if you enjoy the content and would like to support our work. For any food and beverage business owners interested in having your business featured on our channel, visit our Patreon page linked below to get details on how you can book us to shoot an exclusive video. Until next time, stay adventurous, eat good food, and keep chasing colors.